How do you do, mademoiselle? My name is Hercule Poirot. I know you. You're that detective we hear all about. I do not know if that is a compliment, but I will take it as one for now. You are Betty's sister, I believe? Yes. My name is Megan. Can we come in? Please do. My parents are at the police station. I doubt they'll be up to speaking to you later. Do not worry. We will not bother them. Did you know your sister's plans for yesterday evening? No. I arrived by train this morning. My parents called me in a panic when they discovered that Betty had disappeared. She went out last night, but she didn't tell them where she was going. What was your last conversation about? Her new dress. She wanted a pair of black stockings to go with it. Mother brought her a pair. The very day it happened. She was crying. And to think that Betty never even wore them. Poor Mummy. The Barnard appeared to make music a priority in their budget. Their home is modest, but the Barnards are definitely music lovers. This gramophone is magnificent. It is a one-off, without a doubt. What is she feeling at the moment? Mr. Poirot, I don't like being stared at. If you have something to say, would you please say it to me? Betty's older sister is not just sad, she's angry. Your sister had a fiancé, I believe? Yes, he's called Donald Fraser. A very nice man. Do you know where we might find him? He works at the estate agents, Corton Brunskill. Oh, excuse me, I have to answer that. But of course. Betty's room is opposite the stairs on the first floor. Feel free to take a look if you think it might be useful. This young woman is far too clever not to have anything else for us. Do you think she's hiding something? That is what I'm trying to find out. Surely you don't think she did it? I did not say anything of the sort. But young women always ruin your judgement, Hastings. Who knows, maybe Megan was jealous of her attractive young sister. I see. She may have had her sights on the inheritance. Or maybe she was in love with Donald Fraser. We have to study all scenarios, even the most unlikely. But I doubt that Mr. and Mrs. Barnard are rich enough to justify murder. While I try and get Miss Barnard to talk, I would like you to try and find Donald Fraser. 
It should be easy to find the estate agents where he works. Bring him to the ginger cat. I would like to talk with him before the chief inspector finds him. Looking at all the clothes she took out, Betty must have had a problem deciding what to wear. Maybe she had a date? Hmm. A box of new stockings. It looks like Betty was also a music lover, the same as her family. Without a doubt, Betty used to sing. It looks like Betty has a very busy life. Betty liked luxury and going out, and being as pretty as she was, she probably did not have any problem getting herself invited. Medicine to prevent voice loss. Did Betty have problems with her voice? This small key should be useful to me. A record sleeve with an unwritten title. Betty must have recorded the demo. I'd be interested to hear it. Something on this clock bothers me. What a strange mechanism. I don't think it serves to turn the hands. This metal disc is stuck. Strange. A sheet of paper is blocked in the clock. This leg is not well attached. This leg is not well attached. Hmm, could the screw be slightly loose? Hmm, could the screw be slightly loose? This leg is not well attached.
Good. It should be possible to open the wooden panel. Look, a key. This could be useful. I definitely need an object to make these cogs turn. No, the key does not fit this cog. I definitely need an object to make these cogs turn. Ah, something clicked on the front of the clock. This could be useful. Betty. I enjoyed a wonderful evening in your company, and I hope that we will see each other again very soon. D. My dearest Betty, I know that your art is already spoken for, but you are the most beautiful dancer I have ever had the pleasure of meeting, and I am impatient to see you again. Adrian. A record sleeve with an unwritten title. Betty must have recorded the demo. I'd be interested to hear it.